how do you know what has been changed with an SAP CPI iFlow? It's pretty difficult to see if either SAP is updating the package with some new content or you as a developer is updating. There's a lot of places where you may see something, but it's really difficult to see what precisely was changed. Um, there's a couple of solutions for it. First would be to open the iFlow and then find a place where you can open the iFlow in the, the old version. Go through all the different parts of it and see if there was any place you can find that looked like it has been changed. The other would be to open the, the change lock and see if that one was providing enough information for you to actually understand what has been changed. I would assume that you would have the change lock on the SP component, but on your own components? you may not uh, be as well uh, <laughs> to update these uh, these different things. Um, that is why we have created a, a way to do it in, in the FIGAF tool. So the normal approach we had was to compare the BPM models. But the challenge with the BPM models is they were really difficult to read and do an easy understanding of what was actually being changed with these two things. So that's why we wanted to, to simplify the model and we have now called it the simplified iFlow version. It will, it's not executable, but it will give you a better understanding about what's actually changed in the iFlow and then you can always refer to it uh, and refer to the new uh, processor step. So if we just go through this, this is uh, the old release and the new one. We can see there was uh, added a new participant, uh, customer pre-exit and post-exit. We can see here a participant process, that's uh, one that's called pre-exit and it has a reference uh, of this. And there is also the post one, participant process. And we can see the message flow of each of these uh, new uh, new processes, uh, what they they entice, what they, they contain um, of, of changes. And with that, it really is a lot easier to see what was changed. Obviously, we also still have the, the option to see if there was made any changes to, to scripts and it will see all the scripts and you can obviously do comparison the same way with scripts, XSLT and all other uh, content uh, in this or uh, actually one thing that was interesting also in this case could be the, the configurations and so we can see that they have added customer pre-exit configuration and um, post-exit uh, configuration. So, so it's pretty easy to see actually what was changed on this uh, specific instance, what you need to consider when configuring this. So uh, I hope this has been helpful. Um, if you have any comments, feedback or, or to this, please uh, send us an email or support at support at um, Try out the, the version and uh, tell us what you think. I think currently we only have one bug and that is the cache refresh on this page. So you just need to put push uh, control F5 when you're doing a new comparison. So it will just refresh it. But that's one thing about we'll fix in the next release. But uh, tell us what you think about this. Thank you.